What's up guys, Taj here, Tia's brother. And Tia's at home with the baby right now, so me and yeah. my dad, I brought him along. We are holding down the fort for this quick fix episode and we are here to answer all of you guys' questions. Tia was very <laughs> mischievous, very much so. As I got older, I became like, Hip. The a hip to it and like, you know, in my head, they were always like the goody two shoes, you know, and I was the bad one. But, um, you know, being the little brother, you gotta, you know, take the blame every now and then. But, um. And he took a lot of blame. I <laughs> a lot, okay? We have a great family. We're, we're, we have so much joy and we're so blessed. So yeah. our parents, you know, taught us how to be thankful, you know, for everything we have. So I think with that, we all sort of have that, you know, like fun, loving, you know, thankful attitudes. Reminded that atmosphere. Yeah, you home know, life was always loving, fun. You know, like Tia's show cooking, we always ate together at oh, dinner, yeah. big, big dinners together. Oh, yeah. That was important. My biggest pet peeve, oh my gosh. They were like, and I've probably said this before, but they just used to sing like top of their, and not just like any song, like Celine Dion songs where it's like belting. <laughs> and like, they would just be like around the house just belting, especially when Titanic came out. It was just like not, not something that you want to hear <laughs> all, day. all day long. I'd just be like, shut up, you're not Celine. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, but that didn't stop them. So that oh. was, that, I say that was probably my biggest pet peeve. And then like once they got older, they both, uh, you know, when you're a teenager, you like stay in your room and your doors closed. You oh, know, yeah. like obviously I went through that too. But when I was younger, I was like, come on, like, what's up? Like, yeah. open your door. Like, what are you yeah. doing? Like, chill. Yeah. Separation. I, yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Major, yes. I didn't understand Especially from that. Him. Okay. <laughs> I didn't was, understand that. There and was never a dull moment. Yeah, and then I, I let them okay. stay in their room once I got my younger brother, because then I could yeah. just chill with him. Yeah. I didn't have to worry about the Celine Dion oh twins. Gosh. Yeah, you know, yeah, time, you know like especially being twins, I think it's that built-in like. You know, you're with each other 24-7. There's bound to be some, you know, arguments. And um, those were always fun for me. There were, there, 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 there were some good ones, I'll tell you. There oh, was, yeah. You know, there were, there yeah, were that's normal. Yeah. Um, but I will say the good thing about being so far apart in age, us siblings never really fought. No. So, like, um, you know, me and my brother are seven years apart, so there's the not really things. a lot to, you know, fight about, yeah. and they're the same age. Right. So, you know, it kind of makes sense. When she was growing up, she would help out a lot in the kitchen, mm -hmm. but not really cook. Uh, I would say that she would have a lot of communication with me when okay. I would barbecue. She would pop out there, ask some questions, because she, Always loved my barbecue. And Everybody my loves your barbecue. And the yeah. spaghetti. Uh, she really enjoyed the spaghetti, you know. She, she was inspired by those dishes. You those know? are his top two, man. Yeah. But I remember growing up, Tia was obsessed with ice cream, oh. especially from like Thrifty. Like, yeah. I don't know who's watching, but back in the day when you wanted ice cream, you, you would go to thrifty. thrifty. Like, that's where yeah. you went. I don't even yeah. know if they have Thrifty anymore. Yeah. It's, do they have thrifty anymore still? Wow, we gotta get some ice cream. <laughs> um, but Tia, we used to always, we'd have little family outings to go get our, uh, you know, our little cones at the, at, at the thrifty, and Tia used to destroy um, Tear it chocolate up. chip she, and mint chocolate mint chip. Mint chocolate chip. The, yeah. yeah, oh my God. Tear it up. Tear yeah. it up. And they both have a yeah. horrible yeah. habit, still to this day, of they don't sit down when they eat. Like, Movie. they they just Move. moving or they're standing up and like till this day we'll be at dinner, like family dinner and it's just like, sit down, down. like, yeah. sit down, why are you standing up? It's funny because they used to get things against me. Yes. I'll never forget, <laughs> it was at Paramount Studios and my mom had taken, I think she had just picked us all up from school or something 
and it was me, my mom, and Tia and Tamir. And we went to Paramount for this audition and they stayed in the car, right? So my mom took me to the audition. I came back, was on cloud nine, like nailed it. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> probably going to book this one, you know, it is what it is. Get back in the car and I see Tia and Tamir like looking at me like, <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> and they, they had gone through my backpack. And I <laughs> remember I, I mentioned grades earlier, so we weren't allowed to have C's. Like if we had a C on our report card, that was not cutting it. And this particular report card, I had a few C's. So I hid it for like two months, right? And I was just like, yeah, mom, you know, the report card hasn't really come in yet. And then, <laughs> wait, dad, you can't tell anything. <laughs> so I get back in the car. And like, they pull out my report card from my backpack and I'm like, no. And they're like, mom, look what we found. And I'm just like, are you for real? Yeah. Yeah. Like both of y'all like went against me in this situation? Oh yeah. So yeah, it was mostly them. To be honest, partying issues didn't come into play until I became like, Older, again, I was the bad one. Yeah. Um, but Tia and Samira, they didn't, they weren't partiers. Um, they didn't really, and my parents were so good at knowing what was going on. Like, you couldn't really hide anything anyway. We would always Pretty bring good. the party to us. Yeah. We bring all their friends in for like a, a sleepover, a camp over, yeah. barbecue, whatever, so we could check out everybody who's there. So they can with. have a watchful eye. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Johnny Joe, you know? What's up with Johnny Joe? When I became a teenager, we had places like Club 1-7, which was like a, a cool underage club that like me and Raven would hang out at, you know? Like, yeah. And my dad would literally wait right there at Sunset and Vine yeah. until we were done and pick us up and drive us up. Yeah, I didn't Thanks, want anything Dad. to happen. Right? You know? Thanks, Dad. You know, at that 7-Eleven. Support, supported him, you know? <laughs> and again, like, with, you know, with Tia and, and um, Tamara, <clears throat> they were always so busy. They were yeah. always working on their craft. You know, not that we were pushing them, they just wanted to try to be the best. And then when they were in college, if they had homework, like they had homework, like, and they probably did like more than they needed to. They're both very lively and outgoing, but like, we can you're talk. hilarious. Yeah, yeah, my dad is like hilarious. So like, yeah. and growing up, he just always was cracking jokes. As far as like my boys and like my sports buddies, like they would all like love my dad, like, yeah. you know what I mean? And you know, some you were even like a father figure to them, Yeah. you know, my friends who didn't have dads, so that was cool, but he's just like, he used to have us dying. I always wanted to get involved, just, especially when the boyfriend time came. Oh yeah, we used yeah. to, we yeah. used to. Some of them had to move on. We used to get quick. heated the, with their boyfriends. Remember we had pagers, you know, back in, yeah. <laughs> have him paid, just, you know, give me his number. Yeah, he would like talk to their boyfriends on the phone and be like, nah, it's a wrap. No, yeah. And then like, if they like came over to like pick up my sister or something, I would like do the mean mug brother thing. Like I just <laughs> yes. be like, yeah. And they'd be like, what's up, Taj, yeah. what's up? I'm like, yeah. what's up? Yeah. And they were good <laughs> about it. They were good about it. Well, yeah, no one's gonna fight the, your um, ex-army first sergeant also police officer at the time matter. father. Well, I, I definitely was the, the, the hater brother at first. You gotta hate a little bit. You just like, as a little brother, that's what it is. Like, what are you doing with my sister? But you know, they were together for what? Seven, eight years yeah, so, yeah. before they got married. Maybe even longer. So yeah. he real quick became part of the family. You know what I mean? And like, you could always tell which ones who are like, actually there for the right reasons and obviously Corey was one of them. Yeah, Corey didn't come across like a like a smooth roller, you know. No, he was very chill, he, yeah, very yeah. real and yeah, humble. Yeah, and super and very, humble. Very, very very humble and he was on a struggle. He came from Chicago and living in Inglewood with two other friends and didn't have any money and catching buses everywhere. Mm -hmm. and, um and now he's like yeah, he's in still, every he's movie good. like ever. Yeah. Make sure you watch Corey's new show. It's called The Oath on Crackle. It, it, it's, it's the bomb. So make sure you 
tune, tune, tune in. And we used to go rent a Winnebago oh, yeah. and a uh, camper and do Thanksgivings. Just having a real good time. Yep. I mean, you remember the one year where it snowed, rain, and the beautiful sun? I mean, it was so warm. Yeah, and I also remember because Tavia and I were in the, like a bed over the driver's seat. Yeah. And the condensation from the window <laughs> like soaked the entire bed. Oh man, I was so mad. Just wake up soaking wet and it's freezing, snow outside. I'm like, Dad! And then we would barbecue. Oh yeah, yeah. and yeah. It, it was it's cool because anywhere we did a trip, like, and I didn't even realize it really till like at this moment actually, like how much food actually means to our family. Cause like no matter where we were vacationing, we had like a kitchen so like we could cook and like have family dinners. So like if we were in Hawaii or if we yeah. were in the RB and like our Thanksgiving dinners aren't just like, you know, little Thanksgiving dinners. They're like full on. So to do it in an RV is kind of saying something. Yeah. I tried. Yeah, you tried with uh, um, baseball. Yeah, uh, T-ball. Oh yeah. T-ball didn't go well. So they were more focused on, on dance. the dance. Their schedule was so hectic. Um, when they were doing Sister Sister, <clears throat> they would like work three weeks and they had a thing called hiatus. Yeah. Um, and they understand now why I did what I did. I used to put them back in public school for that week. Okay, or when they weren't shooting and that for social skills. To me, they had the upper hand because I wasn't always there. I was in the army coming back and forth. And I, and I said, no, 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 no. We're going to public school. Most actors, when they're in school growing up, they just get homeschooled. Yeah. And you like miss. We weren't, they weren't having that. People always ask us like, why are you guys so normal? That's one of the reasons like our parents like forced like the real life aspect. Turn it off. Into our, yeah, it, it was a was job. So like, turn it off. Now I am so thankful for that that I can turn off the glitz and glamour of like Hollywood. It's that's just how we were, how we were raised. It's insane and it's hilarious. And with little Araya now, I think Ooh. she's gonna be really stoked to have another little lady oh, around. Uh, no. I'm on a mission to be the best grandfather there ever was. You and, are, Pops. And I, I tell you, I love my grandkids. And when this princess comes, it's, it's on. It is you know, on. I, mean, yeah, I can't Mariah, wait. you know, Tia's different than Tamira. Right. So many different ways. You know, so I'm waiting for the difference between Araya and the princess. Tia and Tamira being twins, when they have kids, like Cree and Aiden are basically half brothers yeah. because their moms are twins. So you see that. So I can't wait to see the connection between Araya and the new yeah. girl because they're basically half sisters. So it's just, it's the dynamic is yes. crazy. And just, you know, Cree's the oldest. So he's, you know, the leader. Come on guys, come on. And, and he is being the leader. He, he's definitely being the leader. I'm, yeah, hey, he's being watch the leader. Your, watch no. these two, all right? He's like, yeah. all right, oh boy. But yeah, we're super, we're so excited. Yeah. Well guys, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed yeah. me and my dad answering you guys' questions. It was fun, nice trip down memory lane. Oh right? yes, oh yes. And uh, maybe you guys will see us again soon. If you have any other questions, just leave them in the comments. And uh, this is Tia's Quick Fix. Thank you. Yes, thank you. <laughs>